Amen. One who breaks open the way will advance before them. They will break out, pass through the gate, and leave by it. Their king will pass through before them, the Lord as their leader. Did you know that Jesus is Lord? Amen. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. You know, every time that we go through a trial, one of the reasons is because we live in a fallen world. Trials just happen. That's, that's the Bible version how to say it. Trials happen. Some people would use a different phrase, but stuff happens, right? Yeah. And, uh, but the Lord loves to take advantage of every situation and use it to try our faith. You know, you go through trials. We, we read in the Bible how they refine silver. They refine gold. You know how they do that, right? They take the gold and they, they put it in the fire. What happens is it gets real hot and all the junk rises to the top, right? Yes. All the junk rises up and then they scrape it off. And then it's more pure. The gold, the silver, whatever it is. And so our faith is the same way. And when I say faith, I'm talking about what we believe. Our level or our understanding. Now our faith can bypass our understanding, but sometimes we limit our faith to what we understand. And the Lord wants to take us past that. He wants us walking in ways that we don't see with our physical eyes. He wants us sensitive to his voice. He wants us to be fully convinced of everything he says in the Word. And he loves us so much, he'll even let us go through a little jump so that we will know that we know that we know yeah. that he loves us. Yeah. And he's good. Yeah. Yeah. And whatever he says, it happens. Right, right Issachar? Mm -hmm. I remember I shared that this last time. Issachar is six now when he was four. And I was putting him to bed. I'll give you the fast version. He looked at me and he said, Daddy, you know what? I said, what? He said, whatever Jesus says, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, now that's faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Jesus has all authority. Did you know one of the definitions of Lord means supreme in authority? Yes. Supreme. No one higher. So he has all authority. So if Jesus says, hey, you're going to the other side of the river. You're going to the other side of the river. Or you're going to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. Right? When the disciples, he said, go to the other side. So they said, okay. Then there's the big storm. And they're freaking out. And then here comes Jesus walking by. And they think he's a ghost. Ah! It's a ghost. Jesus said, hey, it's me. So you know how Peter walks on the water all that, but when he gets in the boat, the storm stops. And all of a sudden, they're on the other side of the lake. See, whatever Jesus says, it happens. Right? So why didn't he just say, hey, uh, guys, go ahead and get in the boat. Yeah, hold on. And they're on the other side. Why did they have to go through that trial? Because they need to be fully convinced that even if they're in a boat, which is what they're used to, and they go through a storm, which they've been through before, and they probably always freak out, that when they go through that, they see, experience, He's Lord over that too. And a lot of times we go through stuff so that we'll get to experience His deliverance. Because he is Lord. Yes. 